Hello, I am Bobby. I am a music manager, community worker, creative producer, and I'm from Brighton. My name is Amate Golden. I'm a contemporary artist based in Bevendine, Brighton. I work in film, fashion, sculpture, everything, to be honest. Public art is is something that is accessible. Mm. Um, in a traditional sense, like I said, it would be statues. It would be um, yeah, graffiti murals. It might be One architecture. Yeah, yeah, architecture. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah. right. How, yeah. how? What? In what sense are we defining this? For me, access is. We need more accessible art. So maybe on top of accessible, it has to be something that is engaging and relevant. And I feel like that's more what we need to start thinking about how to make art that is truly relevant and engaging to the general population, yeah, yeah. rather than something that still has this whiff of like, a lot of the time, so when I was growing up, there'd be a lot of community projects where it felt more like a charity do. Where it's like, come when you know, you can print your hand in the wall and now this location is yours or something yeah, like that, yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, Whereas maybe, I don't know, things need to be truly more relevant. Something that, you know, the arts is part of your day-to-day -day life anyway. Yes, yes. Precisely. You know. I think that's a really interesting point in terms of the class structure and, and system and how society is divvied up like that. Because yeah. for me, working class culture is some of the most exciting, character-driven environments. That's where you get some of the most just not even thought through art, right? <laughs> They're just expressive and outward, but then to the establishment or to the hierarchy, that would be seen as threatening or challenging or... Because mm. um, a lot of the time it is, because it changes things and, and changes it in another way, you know? If you've got power in a small group of people's hands, then obviously it's going to be more threatening mm. as soon as that starts to move out. That's just human nature, isn't it? If you're used to the status quo of having certain says over things. What would be engaging to people? What be, would be also entertaining, you know? You yeah. have to enjoy doing it. Mm. You have to enjoy looking at it, talking about it. What's the discourse around it, you know? Mm, mm. Um, and I feel like a lot of the time things are plonked on, like even it's not that consistent pressure and urgency to have to engage the people in a way that is relevant and sustainable. Mm. Because a lot of the time it, it you know, it's like a gift that doesn't generate money or something. So the incentive is kind of, you know, let's yeah. tick the box. This many people saw it, cool. And how much do we actually care about the, the quality of the engagement, right? Is focused on central Brighton um, around the tourism and making it look pretty for people who are coming to visit Brighton, not necessarily for Brighton residents. Mm. You know, um, I think of the communities like Hangleton, Port Slade, Bevendeen, Whitehawk, Tarna on our doorstep. You know, um, Brighton, you know, we're renowned for the pavilion, right? Mm got the seafront this is all beautiful what about our wider communities how can we empower them through the arts how can we empower their culture their story yeah yeah I mean the point you're making about these other communities I mean I live up in Bevendine and I don't really come down in here and those guys are really the heart and soul of what Brighton is right those are the masses and talking about what kind of practical approach maybe Brighton could have um, I feel like what's needed is a long-term plan to say that we don't actually know what we can do right now. We haven't got the knowledge. The arts isn't in the place to really give those answers. So we need to have a very long-term plan, not like a two, three, four-year plan, but a really ambitious plan that by the end of it, there's something that everyone in Brighton or most communities will have, will know what's happening in the yeah. arts, will be engaged with it, will be looking forward to it, like the next football match or yeah. the next Gogglebox series yes, or yes. whatever, and something that can actually be relevant and lead the way 
in a, you know, use it as a kind of petri dish to say, is it even possible to get all of the residents or a majority of the residents mm. from all the back street alleys everywhere to actually know what's going on in the arts in the in the city and be excited and engage with what's happening Precisely. whether they like it or not is one thing but the level of engagement maybe a 10-year plan i think there was something about barcelona or cathedral in barcelona where there was a commission that they put money towards a cathedral that wasn't going to be finished for 250 years i can i can't see in this environment how something like that would happen mm. you know and yet what we could achieve if there was a long, long-term plan. Exactly. Really thought out, very considered, considering yeah. legacies and generations. What will this do for generations? Exactly. Not just a, a quick fix or yeah. a plaster on a wound. Yeah. Like, how are we going to inspire generations? How are we going to leave a legacy? How are yeah. we going to... Yeah. In, yeah ensure of continued that, engagement. Precisely. Yeah, yeah. good resources here, human resources. Mm -hmm. We need to be able to utilize the people that you have here, engage with the people in the community that are able to um, communicate and connect with different people and bring people together. Yeah, you know, we can, if we organize them towards a kind of goal, there's no way that we can't, it's, it's not even close to an impossible thing. And if we just like dream a little bit, mm -hmm. get creative with what is possible and ambitious with it and passionate, I don't even see it as even nearly something that can't be done. Yeah. No, I think it's very possible, but I think it needs to be approached with a new lens and people who have the vision need to be empowered more. So just looking from a practical point of view and a kind of, I don't know what local, like the local earning e economics kind of is measured in, but let's say Brighton's GDP can be greatly enhanced if we if we're able to champion and lead the way in these kind of creative engagement projects yeah that can bring so much more and we can be um <laughs> a template for other people yeah there's a lot of big words i'm trying to get oh, out no, here but um you know the more we spend the more we can earn from it yes, you know it yes. can actually you know generate a lot more income for the community and we can create an environment that really champions creativity and culture and, and the art. And rewards it and celebrates it. And rewards it in a practical and, way. Yeah, 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 I think it can actually do better for our finances rather 100%. than... 100%. I think we've got to bet on ourselves a bit. Yeah. You know, and bet on the communities. Yeah.